Inside How you feel about the game, man? I feel good, man. It's a nice day out. Great day for football. I'm ready to go, baby. We all ready. Just got wait, wait to kick off. Now you do remember that last year they beat us, right? It's all good, man. That was last year. That's different people, different time, baby. New New Jersey team right now. About to take this. Are, is the team ready? The team's ready, baby. We focus right now. We focus. You ready to do this? We're ready. All right. I understand that we only have three days to prepare. But what you need to understand is that you're wearing this jersey for a reason. And that a reason is to represent a state. You are the best in the state. And you're putting on the line against another state. It's a civil war. Understand that? You protect the pride of an entire state. It's up to you to uphold that pride and send a message to someone else on right, what we're all about. The message you leave with those players today will carry on with them for years, I promise. And ten years from now... Aussie Sports Final, the Garden State makes a statement in the Governor's Bowl. From day one, we all came together as a team for VJ. So put on a happy face. The Jersey Sports Final starts now. Yeah, big day for New Jersey high school football, everyone. Welcome to the Jersey Sports Final. Rutgers. The Governor's Bowl, it's become a showcase for the top high school talent in the metropolitan area. And while there's no arguing, New Jersey churns out better players than its neighbor. New York has won the past two games on the field. On Sunday, New York and New Jersey met at West Point for the ninth time. News 12 New Jersey's Keith Arizari picks it up from there. The ninth annual Governor's Bowl was held at Mikey Stadium on the campus of West Point. New Jersey wearing the red, New York in the blue, and both teams were all revved up. After a long sustained drive, Rutgers bound Cordell Young finds the end zone for the first score of the game. Young would leave the game, though, with a concussion. After a pair of turnovers, Naaman Roosevelt tosses a 12-yard touchdown pass to Dan Sheeran. Sheeran, he's headed to Syracuse, and this touchdown drew New York to within one. Unfortunately, the extra point, mm -mm, that was no good. Now, here's a name you'll want to get used to. It's no Sean Moreno. You'll hear it a lot. This is his first of three touchdowns. New Jersey would fail in a two-point conversion, but led 13 to six in the second. Now here we go. Don't ever say we don't give the kicker some love. As Ramapo's Bobby Heilman chips in a 28-yard boot, that gave Jersey a 16-6 lead and more Mr. Moreno before the half. He wanted end zone. He would find it, a seven-yard scamper. The kid was just unstoppable. Oh, yeah, he hails from Middletown. He's headed to Georgia, and he loves scoring touchdowns. This would be Moreno's last run of the day as he did tweak his knee. Bulldog fans, don't worry. It was a minor injury, nothing to worry about too much. Now, at the end of the game, the Jersey All-Stars were rewarded with the Governor's Bowl Cup. Oh, yeah, they worked hard for it. So the New Jersey All-Star team was victorious 30-6, ending a two-year drought in the Governor's Bowl. For most of these players, it wasn't all about the outcome, but also testing themselves against the competition. And now just one more look at the show. The no-show, that is. Reporting from West Point, New York, Keith Irizarry, Jersey Sports Final. And New Jersey now leads this Governor's Bowl series six wins to three. And for you high school football junkies, the next one up in New Jersey, the North-South game, Thursday night, June 29th at Rutgers. All right, time to say hello to the man responsible for assembling this New Jersey juggernaut, Chris Melvin from EliteRecruits.com. Chris, i got to get you to smile here. You know? <laughs> You're responsible for putting this team on the field here. The pressure's off. You know, smile. Big win for New Jersey. Yeah, it was definitely a big win. It was a lot of pressure. Uh, myself and I had a partner of mine, Nick Lubisher, who helped me out a lot. Uh, we picked the, put together, uh, I think, one of probably the best teams that we ever had to, to represent New Jersey for, uh, for the Governor's Bowl. Why do you I'm think sorry. New Jersey won so big today? I mean, were, were they that much better than New York? <laughs> to tell you the truth, uh, the score really doesn't reflect how good this team was. Um, we have some of the best receivers in, in the, in the uh, in East, totally. Mm -hmm. And we have some the best running back, I think, in the Eastern region, in Nosha Marino. We also Cordell Young. He's also a spectacular ball player coming in, uh, going to Rutgers. Um, but uh, does the score 36 reflect the, the type of talent that we possess? No, the score could have easily 
been 60 to 6. So you called off the dogs there in Tony, the second Coach, half. Coach, Coach Carsich and uh, Coach Vassil called the dogs off. No Sean Marino barely played the second half. Cordell Young was injured early. He I didn't even play the second half, but we called the dogs off and put Anthony Furler, who d had, didn't practice at running back uh, the entire uh, three, four days of practice, and we put him in, and uh, he did a, a great job for us uh, as a running back as well as defensive back. So we, we called the dogs off and just did what we had to do and uh, ended the, the game with a 30-6. to six Hey, score. out of respect for the rivalry Out of respect. Here. You have All to, right. Kudos to the, to the coaches. All right, yeah. and, uh, you know, let's talk about the, the game's MVP here, the offensive mm -hmm. MVP. We saw him a little bit there. Mm -hmm. No Sean Marino. We've been spoiled for the past four years watching this super talent run the football, set all kinds of records in the state. Three touchdowns, as you heard Keith say, in the victory. And after the game, all No Sean wanted to do was talk about his teammates. This is a group of teammates I have here. They're a great group of guys. And uh, from day one, we all came together as a team. We just, the plan was just to come out here and have a good time and come out with the victory. All right, he's going to Georgia next mm -hmm. year. We know that. Look, they're getting an outstanding player and an outstanding human being and, and no Sean Marino. Spectacular. Uh, the kid, you should saw what he was doing in practice this week. The kid was out there, he was long snapping, he was playing fullback, he, put, he did everything he asked. And the coaches loved him. A lot of coaches heard about him, have never coached him, of course, have never played against him. North Jersey, South Jersey, they love him. They fell in love with the kid. The, the, his, uh, the teammates, all, all rooting for him, and I think he's going to do a great job at, uh, at Georgia. Hey, Look for him in the start. 30, Look for him in the start. I can see that. 36-0 and 0 in his <laughs> final three seasons. All right. He's just a great, just, just a great get. Says just a lot about no Sean yes. Marino. Yes, I can't say anything bad about it. All right, Chris, hold mm -hmm. your thoughts. We're going to talk more football. Uh -huh. Now you're eating. The five touchdown. Down, no Sean Marino. Five touchdown, Marino. <laughs> we continue now on NFL Live. Mel Kuyper Jr.'s list of the top five running backs currently available on ESPN.com. Mel has Ohio State's Chris Beanie Wells as the number one guy, followed by Georgia's No. Sean Moreno, not a single senior running back among the top five, according to Mel. And we're joined now on NFL Live by former Georgia running back No. Sean Moreno. Okay, before we get into all this football talk, football talk, you were telling me No. Sean is literally a combination of your your parents' names. Yes, definitely. Um, my mom's name is Varishon. Okay. Uh, so they took the last part of her name, Sean, and uh, my dad's nickname is Knowledge. So they put No and Sean together to make No. Sean. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Not just a YouTube sensation for all his moves, but an interesting name to boot. Let's talk about the combine. What were you happy with? Was there anything you didn't like about the combine on your performance? I was happy with everything. You know, I wish I could have ran a little well, uh, a little better than I did on the 40. But I think I did that really well. I felt comfortable. I felt relaxed. And uh, but I will be doing that on my pro day, March 19th. But uh, besides that, I think I did really well. Well, if you're going with uh, Michael Johnson and trying to increase your 40 time, that's the right guy to go to. Yeah. Uh, he, know, he knows a thing or two about sprinting. Yes, uh, what's the one message you want to get across to teams now that are going to be thinking about taking you fairly high in the draft? What's the one point you want to get across to those teams? Um, just my ability is to catch the ball. Um, also, the ability to run routes and and um, and, ru and run uh, basically downhill. Um, those are the main things. But basically, also my pass protection, I, I can definitely get better at that. But I think I do those things well, and uh, just the kind of person I am. What's it like being you and being known for these you know, the YouTube sensation? I wasn't kidding. Everybody see the runs that you make. How does that come across? How, how does that? happen on the field? Is it, is it instinctual? Do you see things? What, tell us, t take us through that. I think it has to do a little bit of both. You know, you see it, but at the same time, it's instinct. Um, just ch trying to make a play, basically, and having fun. That's the main thing. You go out there, have fun with your teammates, and then plays will come to you. Have you ever gone into a game, made a crazy move, and then watched it on the highlights and say, how did I do that? Uh, probably only a maybe if I made a nice little run there. I'd be like, oh, you know what, that was a nice block by my wide receiver, but dang, that's a pretty good run, not bad. <laughs> Don't give all the credit to the blockers. <laughs> so you got to take some of it yourself. Listen.